Hi, this is Rob with Eco Panels of Tennessee, and uh, today I'm up in the front office uh, instead of out in the shop where you, I think you normally see me. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what goes on up here with design uh, and plans. So we actually got uh, this suggestion from one of our YouTube uh, viewers uh, who asked that we address this in a video. And we thought, hey, that's a great topic and that's something we need to do. So uh, let's talk a little bit about how the process works of converting uh, a set of plans into uh, the SIP panels that, you know, dividing it up into panels. How does that work? So, you know, if you go online or you get somebody to draw plans for you, um, the, uh, you know, you're going to get a set of blueprints, right? And these blueprints are not drawn for SIP panels. Very rarely are they. If you go online or, or get an architect to do them, if you get them custom made, they might design them for SIP panels, but 90% of them are not. They're designed for conventional framing, which is fine. We can handle that. So I've got KP here with us, uh, who is our chief designer. She's our only designer. That's why she's the chief. And so she's got dueled out monitors here. And so what we want to do is take the plans that, you know, our customers have, and we want to convert those into uh, a set of SIP panel drawings that would have each panel uh, labeled. I'm trying to hold this up here. I'm having a hard time. Each panel labeled and where it goes and where the doors and windows are. So let's, let's kind of go through that process. Let me set this over to the side. I'm making a mess with papers. Okay. So on the left hand screen, if you can see, these are the plans that our customer sent us. And of course it shows the outside. Can you scroll down on their plans, Christy, and we can. So, and then the, the first floor plan, and then it has an upstairs part as well. A couple of bedrooms and a bathroom upstairs. And then plans will also contain some details like this. It'll give wall heights and things. And this particular house is a timber frame. And does it have a elevation? Yeah. And then the outside elevations, that's kind of the front view, the back view, the side view. So we take all that information, not we, I don't, I can't draw anything. I can't even draw stick people. Christy KP takes that information. And so what she does is she puts it over here on her design screen and then she's going to overlay our panel system on top of that. Right? So go, can you put there? So I don't know if you can see the change, but uh, she's basically taken, we want to take the outside perimeter is what is the line that we're going to follow because the plans that you got may be designed for a two by six wall and maybe you're using our four and a half inch R26 panel, which is fine. It's way more energy efficient than a two by six wall, but it makes the, uh, it, it won't jive right. So we, we got to make that jive right. So we'll follow the outside lines and make sure that we get the outer perimeter correct. Is that right, Christy? Yeah, we'll just double check it by their, also their dimensions. Outside, dimensions. outside dimensions, right. Uh, the other important piece of information that, that Christy needs to know is door and window location in the wall, which as you can see here where she overlaid it, you want to make sure that they line up in the right spot. So on the floor plans that you send us, if the window is over the kitchen sink or the door, that door is in a living room and mm -hmm. we want to make sure that that lines up correctly left to right. The other thing that we want to do or, or need to know, Christian, please correct me if I'm wrong on anything here. Um, we need to know the size of the window opening the rough opening of the, the windows and doors that you're going to use because we're going to pre-make the panels with the holes already there and well, we want to make sure your window fits correctly. Um, and then you also need to know how high the window is up. Yeah, I'm going to go to the elevation view here. Okay. Hide that roof. Okay. So, yeah. So here, if you can see this, she has what's called the header height. And the header height is how tall the top of your window is. So in this particular house, the window's header height is seven foot from the floor and the door uh, is slightly different. It's six foot, eight inches from the floor. 
Um, and that can vary a lot according to what kind of door you buy or what kind of window you buy. Um, we just need that information so that, that she can plug all that in there correctly. Um, so what we're really wanting to, to get to to get started, I guess, is the plans, the dimensions, the door and window rough opening information, and then the header height. Is that right? Did I say that right? Yeah. Now, the other thing that we need to know, maybe not right away, but soon, is electrical needs. And if she can, so here you can see that uh, by, by the front door, those are lights. There's two lights, sconces, you know, out on the porch, and they are 72 inches high from the floor uh, to where the light is. And then if you have plugs, and um, this one doesn't have any because the customer's doing something different. There's a switch. So a switch is 44 inches from the floor. Some plans will have a lot of electrical, which is more normal. This is kind of a special case of what, what this customer is doing. And so we can locate all those with you, but we would actually prefer that you let us draw a first draft. So what KP does is takes your plans and overlays our panels with your plan kind of behind it or under it like this. Mm -hmm. That way we've kind of located the doors and windows where, we, where they need to be. We've got our sizes of those correct. Now, now you can mark up where you want electrical working with your electrician or, or you guys decide. And this way you can okay. see your plan. She'll send this to you with your plan kind of, what do you call it, below it or behind it's it or? Underlay. It's just underlay. 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 Mm -hmm. And then you can say, okay, I'm going to want a, a light switch here when I come in the door. I'm going to want a plug here for the refrigerator. And I'm going to want a plug on either side of the the bedroom uh, for nightstands and that sort of thing. And then we'll put all those where, where you want them. So we can take pretty much any plan and turn it into the panels, right? So what do you have one that already shows all the panels yeah. um, cut up? Okay, that's perfect. So after the initial layout's done and we get the electrical, then KP takes and divides it up into the actual panels. And I don't know if you can see there, but each, that actually shows each panel. It shows the cam lock joints uh, where they're at. It shows the panel numbers. Um, you can see the electrical there where it is. Uh, on the plans, these elevation shots are always from the outside. So you can see on that one plug there, it says in. So that means that that plug is facing in the house. Um, the light is facing out of the house. Um, so we want to uh, detail all that. And, and look, when you're considering a sit panel home, the pre-planning is probably much more important. Um, you know, I often tell people that the best thing about our product is that it's pre-done. And the worst thing about our product is pre-done. We want to really make sure we take our time and get everything just right um, so that your door and windows are in the right place. They're the correct size. Um, we've got your, your lights and your switches and your plugs and all of those things in exactly the right place so that when we produce the panels and they arrive at your job site and they're assembled, everything goes smoother and faster. Now, I often have people, they'll say, well, what if I miss the plug? What, what do I do? Well, you can add a plug. It's not the end of the world. Um, we, we do it from time to time. We try really hard to catch them all in here, but it happens. And we'll make a different video about that sometime and add that to our, to our YouTube channel. So thank you, Christy. Anything else I forgot? Did I forget anything? Okay. So Send us your plans, and uh, we can convert that to sit panels. And uh, well, not we; she can convert that to <laughs> sit panels, and uh, we can get that done. We appreciate the suggestion we got on this video. I hope that you found this informative. And if you have any other suggestions, just leave them in the comments down there. Uh, if there's something that we missed, or you have any questions, we'd be glad to answer it. And of course, 
send us your plans. I'd love to take a look and see what your project looks like.